Well, welcome to Metal Detecting Wisconsin. I got the uh, Mine Lab E track with the standard coil. Hunting the uh, old ball field that I hunted last year that's uh, in the woods. Uh, it's just an open field with uh, lined with trees. And I got my first good signal today. Dug a memorial penny and a clad dime and just got a 1145, really solid 1245 at about seven inches and I got some silver you can see the uh, was in this clod right here yeah you can just see the edge of the silver right there on the clump of dirt here we'll look at it together yeah, I think it's uh, it's a rosy I'm not going to worry too much about rubbing a rosy. Like, uh, I think we just made it. 1964. Okay, I'm on the board with silver. I've only been here about 10 minutes. Got three hours to hunt today. Okay, I got another good signal here. It's coming up uh, 1246. About six inches down, I'm going to let you listen to it and uh, show you the numbers. Get in the screenshot here. 1346. 08.34. But that's a good signal, 1246. It's definitely got a silver possibility. So let's. Okay, I got the hole opened up. And you can see the bottom, when I pl the plug over, you can see the bottom of the plug, there's silver, it looks like a dime. And it's probably, well, that probably came in about five inches down. Let's see what we got here. It's a uh, mercury. Not going to rub it too much, but... See, she's a Merc. Close up of it. Cool. This could be a good hunt. 15, 20 minutes into it, and I got two silvers already. Okay, I was getting like an 08, 45. Uh, 1245, 1345 was uh, back to 07, 44. It was jumping all over the place. It was going about six inches down, but I got real nice sound in uh, one direction. I got the hole open, and the bottom of the plug, there's uh, another silver right there. Looks like another dime. It's like a rosy 1958. Okay, silver number three. Get back at it here. Okay, here's the reason that Rosie was jumping around. Uh, Rosie was, I estimate, right about there, right about here. I just dug up these pieces of aluminum. So that was the reason why it was giving me a jumping around signal. But I could get it to hit in one direction really nice. So. I was getting a 1244 at about six inches. Uh, I thought maybe it'd be a piece of worn silver. It looks like it, uh, I don't know if it's a penny or not, but you can see it right there. Kind of got a shiny edge, might be a, no, I think it's a, some kind of metal. Might be sterling. Uh, it's probably aluminum. Uh, it looks some kind of religious metal. It looks like the Pope. Picture of the Pope is on there. Joannes. There was a, I don't remember a Pope. Joan, Pope John. I don't know. Some type of religious metal.
Oh, it's getting a, uh, yeah, coming up like a Memorial Penny 1243, 1245. It's only down like an inch, so I thought I'd just poke around, but it was jumping around a little bit, and in the hole was this key on a ring. That's probably why it was jumping. But look what's was on the hole there. And it's in the clasp, it says 925 silver, 925. Last year. I don't get a close up of that or not, but well, what's this other end. Now well, one one of the ends had uh clearly I could see nine two five. Cool. Well, it's not a coin, but it's some silver. I'm sure it'll clean up nice. Well, I was getting a solid 12, 13 at about 3 inches. Just thought it was going to be a Jefferson nickel, and it, to my surprise, it turned out to be a buffalo. Close above it there. Pretty shallow for a buffalo. You just never know. Sometimes they go down, sometimes they don't. That was a wrap up of today's hunt. Got uh, 24 memorial pennies, 5 clad dimes, 2 Jefferson nickels, a couple of keys. Got this nice uh, sterling necklace. It says, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not, but it says 925 and Italy on the clasp. A buffalo nickel, 1927. One wheat penny, one religious metal, and three silver dimes, 48, 64, and the Merc is, or the Rosies were 58 and 64, and the Merc is 41. It's not a bad three hour hunt. Found all the silver coins though in the first about 25 minutes. But I'll take it. Thanks for watching.